Hi everyone today we may discuss about the history of trade union movement in India All over the world there was mass production of goods following industrial revolution the nations became rich but the fate of the working class didn't improve at all inadequate wages miserable working conditions and job insecurity were common thus to overcome it gradually trade union movements developed worldwide in india the first organized strike took place in express mills at nagpur in 1877 in 1890 the bombay mill hands association was formed thus the trade union movement in india was in its nascent stage when the first world war started the prices of goods went up sharply thus depriving the working class of a minimum standard of living many modern labor unions popped up the textile workers in madras formed labor union in 1918 in 1920 all india trade union congress that is aituc was formed by the fusion of 107 trade unions the indian trade union act was passed in 1926 it recognized the legality of unions and conferred immunities from certain liabilities both civil and criminal the nationalist movement for independence was also gaining strength in india during this period one group within aituc wanted the union to club its activities with those of international congress in its struggle for freedom whereas the other group wanted its activities to be confined to laborers and their welfare The communists slowly garnered power and influence among the laborers. Then came the economic depression of 1929 and the workers united against wage cut. But from 1930 onwards there were numerous splits in AITUC. After 1947 AITUC leaders associated with International Congress came out and formed INTUC. In 1948 Hind Mazdoor Sabha was formed by the Socialist Party in 1969 the Center of Indian Trade Union that is CITU was formed the right to form association or union is a fundamental right in our constitution in india trade union act defines a trade union as a combination for regulating the relation between workmen and employers or workmen and workmen or employers and employers or for imposing restrictive conditions on the conduct of any trade or business the act does not provide for compulsory registration of trade unions however if the union is registered it will get the immunities and privileges as provided by the act now let me briefly explain certain terms associated with industrial workers These are mentioned in Industrial Disputes Act. They are strike, lockout, layoff and retrenchment. Strike is a cessation of work for any length of time under a common understanding to put pressure on an employer to accept their demands. General strike, tool down strike, go slow strike and the sympathetic strike are different types of strike. now lockout is a weapon in the hands of the employer he may temporarily close the place of employment or suspend the work in a public utility service the strike or lockout requires a notice of not less than 2 weeks and not more than 6 weeks layoff means the inability of an employer on account of shortage of raw materials and such other economic reasons to give employment to a workman whereas retrenchment is a permanent measure to remove surplus staff because of some basic change in the nature of the business